Number three. How do the concentrations of Ag plus and CrO42 minus in a saturated solution above 1.0 grams of solid Ag2CrO4 change when 100 grams of the solid Ag2CrO4 is added to the system and then explain? So basically what's happening is it seems like we're adding some solid uh, silver chromate, right? So I believe this is silver. What is this? Silver... Silver one chromate. Does the name matter? Absolutely not. <laughs> but we're adding 100 grams of the silver chromate, and they're just asking how would that addition affect the change in the concentration of the ions? Now, we're talking about dissolving a solid, right? Whenever you're starting off with the solid and they're asking for the concentrations of the ions, we're just going to write a, a balanced equation. So, here we go. We're going to start with the Ag2CrO4. Ag2CrO4. And they're telling us that it's a solid, right? So I know that this is a solid. And this is going to dissolve. Now, does it really matter, you know, if I put double arrows here? That's fine. We, we use um, double arrows to represent that this is not a strong acid or base. And then they already told us the two ions that are going to be forming, right? One comes from just the silver and the other one comes from the chromate. So I don't even have to guess on the charges. They told me that it's going to be Ag plus and then the CrO4 2 minus. Now remember, anytime that you see that you have charges, these are always going to be aqueous. So we have aqueous and aqueous, and since we're adding a solid... Um, that's going to be an S. Now let's just balance. Keep in mind that you had two AGs. So over here, I have to say that I have two AGs. And then the chromate, CrO4 and CrO4, that's the same. So now we're balanced. Now, in order to find out what's going to happen to these concentrations, we can either do an ice table or we can do the KSB equation. When we're talking about dissolving a solid, that's dissolution, right? And whenever we're doing that, we're always dealing in terms of KSP, the solubility product. The formula for that is always this right here. The KSP is always going to just equal the products raised to the coefficients. So KSP for this one would equal the concentration of your products. So it would be the concentration of Ag plus times the concentration of the CrO4 2 minus. But now we just have to be very careful. It's raised to the coefficients. There was a 2 in front of the silver and no number in front of the chromate. Remember, that just means that there was only one of them. So for the AG, I have to raise that one to the second power because you always raise each, co each product by the coefficient. So it would be basically AG plus raised to the second, then times by the chromate. And since there's only one, I could put a one here, but nobody cares, right? Anything raised to the first is itself. Now, the only reason why it's not divided by the reactants is is because this is a solid. And remember, solids do not get included in any K expression. KC, KP, KA, KB, which we saw all in previous chapters. So that kind of gives you an idea as to what's going to happen. Are these uh, concentrations going to increase or decrease when we add solid amount of the Ag2CrO4? Well, since the solid is not in the KSP, is there going to be any change? Nope. You could add as much solid as you want. Nothing's going to happen. So for this case, there's going to be no effect. No effect for both the AG and the CrO4 minus. Then just explain. This is because, maybe I'll just say because... The Ag2CrO4 solid 
is not included in the KSP equation. So you can add as much KSP, uh, you could add as much um, Ag2CrO4 solid, but since it's not in the equation, it, it doesn't matter. So hopefully that makes sense. And maybe I will bring this over just to have everything nice and neat. And maybe I will box this off like this. There we go. But that is the reasoning behind this answer. Hopefully this makes sense. Let me know in the comments, subscribe to the channel, and I hope you guys are having a great day out there, okay? So I will talk to you soon. If you guys are on the playlist, which I highly recommend, we'll do the whole chapter together, which is pretty fun. I like it. <laughs> anyway, I will talk to you later. Okay, bye-bye.